Okay, so the 6th of April 2025, I've now seen a new update on my Fi TV Cube giving me the option to install it. Now, this is something that's going to be available for all Fi Sticks, Fi TVs, Fi TV Cubes in the next few weeks. And I am expecting three major changes. So let's install that now. I mean, as we know, Amazon always have a history of doing these updates where in most cases, they either remove features that we want you to keep, things like local ADB access, things like the ability to use custom launchers, accessibility services, just things that maybe a power user would want to use over the years, Amazon have just disabled these features. And on the other side, they sometimes add in options that nobody's interested in, or they push down certain applications that nobody wants to use. And really just, they just show their authority that we can completely control your device. We can choose what you see on the home screen. We can choose what sponsored applications you see, what sponsored content you see. All of that is in the hands of Amazon. And these updates normally just once again, highlight that they have that complete control. Let's give that a second. Now we'll quickly just double check all of the settings on my device to make sure that nothing else has changed because again, Amazon also have this reputation of enabling certain options that you might have turned off. So things like your data collection settings, things like your privacy settings, all these things historically have been known to enable themselves, even though you previously manually disabled them. So I will quickly double check those as well. Now, while we are waiting, I can tell you what those three changes are. So the first one is regarding live TV or live TV guide update, which will now allow you to integrate more of your applications into that single guide, allowing you to quickly find out what's on across multiple applications. And you can access all of that through the updated live TV guide. The second one is regarding your settings application or your settings applet, where they've now seemingly moved options around. So this may be just because they're trying to reorganize some of those options to move the ones that you're more likely to use near the top. And the last one is regarding app offloading, which will then allow you to automatically remove applications that you're not using. So there seems to be some change in that logic where certain applications, even if you do use them regularly enough, for some reason, it doesn't detect that you have used them. And because of that, it may then accidentally offload them for you. So I'd be interested to see if that logic has now been fixed because I've definitely seen in the past where certain applications like Downloader, even though I use them on a regular basis, when you look at the app usage, it says I've never used it. So there definitely was a bug or an issue with that before. So it will be interesting to see if that's now also been resolved. Okay, so my device is now rebooting. Let's see if my device has got these new updates or these new changes. Let's see exactly how they work. Okay, so my device is now restarted. So the first one we mentioned was regarding the live TV guide or the live guide update. Now you can access this by either clicking on this icon here, or if you have the remote control, you can use this button here. Let's do that now. And we can see now with this new update, we have more options for live TV integration. So I can now see all of the content from BBC One, BBC Two, ITV and four. Keep scrolling down. And we now see content from Freevee. So all of these channels have now been added or directly integrated into the live TV guide. Keep going down. And we should see other content. Of course, it depends on your regional location on which applications are supported for the integration. But we can see now definitely compared to before, we do have more options in here. There's content now also from Pluto TV. If I press the options key, we can see we have the ability to add channels to our favorites. We can add channels and we can manage channels as well. Let's go to add. Okay, so these are the ones which are available now and we can now add in more channels. So I have options to add channels from channel five, also the Prime Video channels, even Plex TV, as well as Red Bull TV. Now, I'm sure in the United States, if you go to these options, you will see a lot more applications supported, which means you'll have more channels to choose from, all again, which can be integrated directly into your live TV guide. And that content is working absolutely fine. So for a quick test, if I try one of these channels, uh, let's just try this Law & Order. I can click on that. That should then correctly launch the application for me and take me directly into that live broadcast. Now we can see in a couple of seconds, that process is working absolutely fine. That's working great. I can back out of that. So that's the update to the new live TV guide, but please do leave me a comment below. Let me know which applications you can see in your live TV guide, which will then allow you to integrate those live channels directly into this guide. Okay, let's back out of that. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, 
stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Now, the second update was regarding the settings application. So if I go to that now, you can see here previously MyFi TV, which I was using all the time, was down about here. But we can see now that's moved right near the top. We've got Network First, MyFi TV, and a few of the other options. So again, to make the options which you are more likely to use, they've moved them near the top, like your network settings, like MyFi TV, and some of the other ones like the A word or notifications, they've moved further down the bottom. Now, as I mentioned before, with all Amazon updates, it is always worthwhile double checking your privacy settings and your security settings, just to ensure that no options that were previously disabled have now been enabled once again. Now, the way we can do that is if I go over to the preferences, let's click on that now, go to the privacy settings, and we can see on my device, these three options or these four options are still set to off. Whereas by default, they are set to on. So definitely go and double check to make sure that on your device, these are still set to off. And this is minimizes any kind of data collection, any kind of data monitoring, just to ensure that we minimize the amount of data sent back to Amazon. That's all off on mine. Let's go back again. Let's go to the usage monitoring. And we can see on my device, both these options are still set to off. So definitely do double check that on yours. And the featured content is those auto playing of those video adverts, which appear directly on the home screen. Again, by default, these are both set to on, which means when you don't touch your device for a few seconds, it loads that large screen advert on your home page, and it even plays it with audio, which can be very frustrating. So again, we want to make sure both these are set to off. That's now all done. So that's really the second update that's been now added to my device. So do let me know in the comments below if you can see this on your device and what you think of it. I think for most people, they just want to access their network, maybe the applications, which is at the top now. So it should make that a little bit easier. But again, in terms of familiarity, people are used to having things in the same place where they've had it for many, many years. Why do Amazon think it's a good idea to move things around? But, but do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think if you're happy with this particular change. Let's go back. Now, the last change is regarding data or application offloading. Now, if I go to my settings, let's go to applications. Now, as you know, by default, this option is set to on. And that basically means that at any time, once Amazon detect that you're not using a certain application and it is only supposed to be for official applications from the Amazon App Store, they'll then go ahead and uninstall that for you or offload it. Um, where there have been many reports that certain third-party applications have also automatically been offloaded. I've not seen that on my device, but do leave me a comment below if you've experienced that and which application was automatically uninstalled for you. But we can see now on mine, this is now set to on for a quick test. Let's go to my applications. Now we can see here in the dropdown where you can see, I want to sort these applications out by alphabetically, the size. We want to go to recency because we want to see which applications the device thinks we've used recently and the ones that haven't been used, they're the ones that potentially could then be uninstalled automatically. So if I click on that now, here you can see it guys. So how on earth on my device have I never used YouTube? Just doesn't really seem to make any sense. So I mean, stuff like, you know, Firefox or, you know, Aptoid or these things I've used fairly regularly, but it never seems to log that I'm actually using this application. So technically with app offloading being enabled, these applications could then potentially automatically be uninstalled on my device. Look at that downloader. How have I never used downloader on my device where that's probably the application I use on a daily basis. So that bug definitely is still present even with the latest update on this Amazon third generation Fire TV cube. Here we can see some applications it does actually log. So Netflix are used today, VLC are used today. But yeah, so that option, I would say just for maximum safety, I would actually leave this off just to ensure that nothing gets automatically uninstalled because right now Amazon seem to have some kind of bug where they can't properly detect which applications are actually being used on your device or not. So that's pretty much it for the latest update on this particular device. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've got any of these options or updates on your device and what you think of them. And also just to mention that if you are looking for the best way to stay safe online, how you can really just cover or hide your online digital fingerprint, which is your IP address, the best way to do that is to use a VPN because when you activate a VPN, you're now no longer using your own IP address, using an IP address from one of the thousands that your VPN provider gives you. Right now, there's a super special offer just for the month of April for the VPN I personally use where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps, 
all of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything, they're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.